Hello and welcome to the Carriage Shed at Kidderminster. It's one fifth of a mile long and can hold up to 56 coaches. Inside preparations are well underway to get the three sets of compartment coaches ready that we'll need for reopening. And that means a whole lot of maintenance, deep cleaning and mechanical checks. Um, mainly I'm responsible for making sure that um, all the batteries are checked and topped up. Um, so we'll go along and do all that and then get them on charge. And then on the insides, what we normally do is we walk through and if there's anything that we find that's broken, we fix it. Um, and obviously once we've done all that, we then have to sign off paperwork to say that the carriages are now fit to run. And that's what we, you know, that's what we do every week. So how often does a carriage need to come in and have a bit of TLC with you? Um, normally they, they come in about every six weeks. Um, so every six weeks they'll come in because obviously they rotate. So you'll have a different set every single week. Um, and obviously we do the same process and, and procedures to that, those sets when they come in. So when we run the kind of services that we, we run for the public, do, do the carriages come in for quite a, quite a hammering really out there on the line? In fairness, yes, they do, yeah. There seems to be more sets more than others, to be fair. So they do get a hammering. And there's quite a lot of problems that we have to deal with when they're in traffic or when they're, or when they're in maintenance. We, we do see the evidence of the, the, the odd battering that they get. So at the moment we're cleaning all the hard services with using our antibacterial spray uh, and we're just cleaning it all ready to make sure everything's safe and sanitised ready for uh, ready for when we start operating. So uh, to get the coaches ready to run again for uh, the start of August we've been doing deep checks on the coaches so that includes bit like checking all the springs, check if there's none cracked or broken um, we've also been checking all the oil levels in the axle boxes and pad exams um, we've then been doing like the underneath checks, so we're checking for any wear, any movement, uh, any split pins that have been closing up, anything rubbing that shouldn't have been rubbing. Uh, and then after we've done all of the checks, we've done the brake adjusting, checking for warm brake blocks. Uh, we then go around greasing everything, re-oiling everything a lot. So it's just getting all the coaches ready now to start running again, because they've been sat still since uh, the start of the year. And what sort of state did that mean they were in when you got to have a look at them? It's been quite a while. Some of the coaches, because they stuck it beautifully beforehand, we haven't seen some of them till since Christmas you know, for deep maintenance. So you've got to remember they've run January, February uh, until we shut down for the lockdown. So they, some of them have been in, not necessarily a bad state, but they haven't been seen for a while, so bits gone rusty. So we had to check all of that. Uh, unfortunately, during this, we have found two faults which will be rectified soon. Uh, but it goes to show that the maintenance checks are worth doing. I mean, you were furloughed for quite a quite a time over the lockdown period. What was that like? Uh, it was it was quite boring in the sense of uh, you lose your routine of not coming to work. So it's great to be back and having a standard routine. Uh, the positive is, of course, you get a lot of jobs done around the house and all of that sort of stuff. And how is it being back here? Yeah, it's great to be back. It's nice to see people again, and you know, it's almost like you know we haven't left, so to speak. We all clicked together really well. So, uh, so yeah, it's good to be back and getting the railway running again. So I think you can see from the attitude of the people here, we really can't wait to see you back at the SBR. So I hope you've enjoyed this look behind the scenes at Carriage and Wagon. Um, leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and book a ticket to come and visit the SBR at sbr.co.uk.